Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace and peace be multiplied. As we have been looking a little at the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to remember that this resurrection was a literal, tangible, physical, bodily, however we want to describe it, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus told us it is flesh, it is bones, and so this is what the resurrection of his body was. It was the same body which had been buried, yet it was changed in that it was no longer subject to death. With this glorified body, Jesus could enter a room when the doors were closed. St. John 20 and verse 19. So the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, as we say, it is the central factor of the Christian history. On this factor, the church is built. Without it, there could be no Christian church today. We talked about Jesus' resurrection being one that is unique. It is the only one of its kind. Other religions have strong ethical systems or it consists of uh, them talking about paradise or the afterlife using various different holy scriptures. But only Christianity as a God who became flesh, man, human, literally died for his people and was raised again in power and in glory to rule his church forever. And so that is why the resurrection is so important. It is because Christ was raised from the dead. We know that the kingdom of heaven had broken into earth's history. Our world can now have the work of Jesus Christ, the one who came to die for lost humanity so that they can be saved from their sins. Because of the resurrection, we know that death has been conquered and we too will be raised from the dead to live forever with Christ. The resurrection, as we know, gives authority to the church's witness in the world. The early evangelistic sermons in the book of Acts, the apostles, most the most important message even the apostle Paul carries is to tell about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So this message was widely proclaimed by the apostles. Christ have been raised from the dead. The resurrection gave meaning to a lot of different things. When we look at the church's sacrament of the Lord's Supper, like Jesus' followers on the road to Amos, em Emmaus, he break bread, they break bread with our risen Lord, the same one who comes in power to save us. 
when we take the Lord's Supper, we are encouraged to partake of it as often as we can. The Bible says we do show forth the Lord's death until he comes. We take it acknowledging his body that was broken and the cross for us and his blood that redeems or wash away our sins his blood that was shed on the cross of calvary the resurrection helps us to find meaning in the great tragedies of life even death because we now know that the people of god has hope that their dear ones departed in christ they will see them again someday so when they sorrow they are not sorrowing without hope so no matter what happens to us as we walk with the risen Lord yes the resurrection gives us hope much hope for the future the resurrection assures us that Christ is alive and is ruling his kingdom he lives Christ Jesus lives today he walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way he lives yes he lives you ask me how i know he lives he lives within my heart so we know today from the scriptures that he is alive we know from the scriptures that he is real we know he did not raise as a spirit but he raised actually as a man the human being that they know that they walked with before they saw him healing the sick they saw him raising the dead they saw him feeding the five thousand they saw him speaking to the winds and the waves and the various different miracles that he did. It is God's power that brought Jesus back from the dead. And that same power is available to us so that we can live for the reason Christ in an evil world so yes he is alive he is real and as we continue to look at some of the post resurrection appearances of Christ we will see that the 40 days in which he would have remained on the earth before he ascended back to his father he shows himself to various different sets of people so let us as his children remember that we are not serving a dead god but we are serving jesus christ the one who is raised from the dead the one who now sits at the right hand of the Father as our advocate where he pleads and make intercession for us. He is our great high priest. We saw him prophesying, telling to his disciples the things that would have happened. That's one of his office. We also see him today as the great high priest another one of his offices and finally we will see him as the king who he is when he comes 
to set up his millennial kingdom on the earth and to reign for a thousand years. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe. It is free. Like, also share with your friends. And please comment and please continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.